Hey guys, what's going on? Steven back again. So did Norman Reedus just confirm Rick's death? Now, I don't know if you guys know, but comicbook.com does kind of like a nightly talk show on Facebook. And last night, Brandon Davis was interviewing Norman Reedus about Season 9. And, well, it got kind of interesting. I'll let you guys listen. The audio is kind of bad, just FYI. He was watching Venom like a whole week before the rest of us, and he's talking to some Walking Dead castmates, who he actually has a special guest right now. So if you guys want to check this video out real quick, we start, we're sorry for the whole, this some crappy audio, but you still get to check this out. Hey Chris, yeah, uh, I'm here in California right now. We are uh, gonna go to the premiere of The Walking Dead season nine tonight. And I mean, who better to talk about that with the Norman Reedus, even Daryl Dixon? You're going to nine years yeah. as Daryl Dixon. Yeah. So I'm curious, when you, when you get to a night like tonight, a season nine premiere, people are gonna watch it, you're gonna share this with people. Is it ever gonna be less exciting? No, it's always exciting. It's a, it's a brand new year this year. We have a, you know, a new showrunner, we have new characters, we have new storylines. It's completely new. We did a, a screening of the first episode back in Georgia two days ago for our crew. Our, our crew were there, you know, every single day from sun up to Sunday, and they all had a beer in their hand, screaming at a TV. And so I think we're good. So obviously, the, the big topic of conversation is Andy is, and Andrew there Lincoln. This is his final season. Uh, I don't want to know details about Rick's exit, but I do want to know what it was like his final days with you guys on set. I heard there was like a pool party, heard you guys had some fun with it. How did you kind of celebrate this guy who helped launch the show and now says goodbye? Um, it, you know, the pool party was fun. It was at Melissa's house, but you know, his very last uh, his very last scene. He's laying there and he's supposed to giggle, you know, to think of something to giggle. So the camera's here and I'm under the camera tickling his feet with the scene. So it was a good way to end it. But then at the very end, he got up and everyone gave him a standing ovation and he gave a little speech and he's like, so people pulled out their phones. He goes, hey, everyone put your phone down. He's like, this, this is out. Did you catch that? Apparently, according to Norman Reedus, Rick's final scene, if he's not trolling us, involves Rick on the ground and he's supposed to giggle or laugh apparently so could that be Rick is dying and he knows he's dying and the final thing maybe that goes through his mind is you know hey I kept my promise to Carl I spared Negan I got the communities working together and we're building something you know we got windmills we got crops We've got, you know, all this stuff. I did it. I kept my promise to Carl. And kind of like a smile. Now, of course, going through all the evidence, you know, we do have this shot right here from the trailer, which is interesting, is that AMC took down the comic book, um, the Comic-Con trailer and then re-uploaded it. And what is interesting is I didn't really watch it. I kind of just, you know, scrolled through it here to look for the part I was looking for but I did not find one scene on here uh, it could be on here and I just passed over it but I do not see the scene where yeah I don't see it where I believe Rick is laying down I think he's got his eyes closed and you know he's just laying there and the walker is coming up upon him and as it gets, you know, pretty close to his face, he wakes up. I don't see that scene anywhere on this trailer again. Now, it could be, you know, like I said, I did not, you know, play the whole thing. I just am doing what I did now and just scrolling through it. So it could still be here, but I did not, you know, see it. So I think that's kind of interesting. So could this play out? That we have that scene right there, you know, Rick laying down, got his eyes closed, Walker comes up on him, as he wakes up, he sees it, you know, maybe he goes for like the throat trying to hold it off, Rick gets stabbed, because it's not actually a Walker, it's a Whisperer, Rick gets stabbed, we have the bloody boots, so maybe Rick gets up, he's walking back towards the bridge, holding his side, blood is pouring down, he gets back to the bridge, we have this scene right here because it looks like he's kind of going like this, holding his side. It looks kind of confused, like, WTF? How did I just get stabbed by a walker? Kind of confused look. And, of course, you know, everybody's running towards 
past him you know maybe there's other walkers coming and stuff like that and you know he's kind of just like what the hell what the hell just happened a walker stabbed me and maybe as Rick's final scene you know he's laying there because we also have the opening minutes let's see here we go so we have the opening minutes theory uh, the famous bleeding heart theory I don't know if you guys heard it but this is from the opening what four and a half minutes of the first episode and we have Judith here painting a picture and of course you know this is supposedly Rick here's Michonne we have this giant heart let's see What's that grumpy face? Uh, I was trying to get a um I was trying to see if there was a better shot of the painting. Uh, I'm just blocking it. Oh, there's Carl. But yeah, I can't get a um I don't see a good shot of the painting, but apparently that's supposed to be a heart, you know, over them and notice the runoff if you will of the red paint blood dripping on michonne rick gets stabbed he's walking back to the bridge you know we go to that scene holding his side maybe rick's bleeding out he's dying michonne's there holding him in his arms his blood is getting you know on her clothes And could that be all? I don't know. I just find it very interesting, you know, that Norman said that. But Norman could be, um, he could be trolling us. But just going by the evidence kind of looks like what it could be. It could be that Rick gets stabbed by a whisper. And that could be the perfect motive for the group to go after them and get revenge. You know, just saying. And then, of course, with the heads and the spikes, maybe, you know, a whisper stabs, kills Rick, and that starts the fight. The group goes after the whispers, kills a few of them. And then, of course, we have, you know, Alpha and Beta making their debut. They capture some of them, put the heads on spikes, kind of like retaliation. And then we go from there. But yeah, I just find it very interesting that that is what norman said supposedly rick's final scene involves him on the ground giggling smiling you know so could his final thoughts be i did it i kept my promise to carl negan spared we're building something communities are coming together we got windmills we got crops we got food i did it So, yeah, I don't know. But, yeah, I just can't see him doing anything else. I can't see him getting on a helicopter, because why would he leave Judith behind? Why would he just randomly leave Michonne behind? You know, why would he get on a boat and leave, kind of like Michonne did? But I believe in the comics, Rick sends Michonne on a mission, and that is why she gets on the boat. I just can't see Rick just going, All right, guys. See ya, I'm going to jump on this helicopter, I'm going to get on this boat, I'm going to ride off into the sunset. Peace out, Michonne. Take care of Judith. I don't know, I just can't see it. But, um, I don't know. Just a thought, just a theory. Let me know. So, anyways, um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. That'd be awesome. Remember, feel free to subscribe to my channel. You know, help me reach uh, 1,200 subs. That'd be awesome. Uh, follow me on social media. Links are in the description box below. And, of course, leave me your thoughts and comments. What do you guys think? Do you think Norman is trolling us? You know, do you think he just kind of made it up? Do you think he's right that that's how Rick's final scene plays out? Do you think that's how... You know, the theory could be, you know, Rick gets stabbed by a walker, walks back to the bridge bleeding, sits on the bridge. Michonne comes to comfort him, blood dripping on her. 
let me know. So, anyways, you know, de um, definitely stick around. Uh, we got Fear the Walking Dead season finale coming this Sunday. So that should be really cool. Uh, no idea what's going to happen, how that episode is going to end. What are they going to set up for season five? I really have no idea. It's going to be very interesting. And, of course, you know, my um, uh, reaction video should be up Monday. Tuesday, I don't know. There's not going to be any type of uh, trailer breakdown to do. So I'll have to do something. Maybe a season review. I don't know. We'll see. But anyways, you know, definitely just stick around. More videos are on the way. And I'll see you guys next time.